Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff, or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for information about our firm's outplacement support services. As the leading boutique provider of outplacement services in the United States, Employment Boost is uniquely positioned to help individuals land on their feet and find a new job quickly and effectively after a corporate layoff. Now on to today's headlines. It is officially the end of an era with MTV News closing down after 36 years as part of the larger Paramount layoffs that are impacting 25% of the staff across Showtime, MTV, and Paramount. Uh, the news division of MTV launched in 1987 as a way to fill the void for Gen X and some older millennials who wanted a cable television alternative to traditional news networks, and the focus was mostly on music, pop culture, news, and politics. Also in layoff news today, professional networking platform LinkedIn, which is owned by Microsoft, will cut 716 jobs worldwide and also completely shut down its China Jobs app, which is called InCareer. Uh, all user data on that app will be deleted by August 9th. And finally, vaccine maker Novavax announced yesterday plans to reduce its global workforce by 25%, 20% uh, of that being full-time workers and the other five being contractors and consultants. In addition to that, they plan to trim costs next year for research and development, sales and administrative expenses by 40 to 50 percent uh, compared to 2022. And currently the only commercial product that Novavax has is their COVID-19 vaccine. And they only administered about 88,000 doses of that in the United States. So compared to Pfizer's original two shot series and subsequent boosters, which ended up being more than 400 million doses, a pretty stark difference there. And future plans for Novavax are to develop an updated COVID vaccine for fall, as well as a flu vaccine and a flu-COVID combo. So pretty much all research and development is focused right there for them.